Uh, poking myself in the eyeball. Greetings, gods, goddesses, etc. Welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. Shoutouts to you for watching. Uh, if you're enjoying this, go ahead and hit that like button. I mean, presumably you've already subscribed, but if you haven't, hit the like button, and also if you have subscribed, make sure you hit the bell, because that's how you know every single time I upload. YouTube probably only tells you when some of the real important people you follow uploads, but you might care when I do. The actual answer is every day. Every single day I upload a video and a short. But you might not know it. I didn't know if I was actually going to get a store, like an opportunity to buy some stuff. Anyway, you hit the like button, that tells the artifact, artifact, that tells the algorithm that this is what you're into, and to show you more of it. Oh, this is, I, I barely even understand the description, but the first couple of words are perfect. Press triangle to grapple. That's all I need. Press triangle to grapple. Oh, it's literally a scorpion spear. That's perfect. Point being, if you'd like more of my videos to get over here in your activity feed in YouTube, you should definitely like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. And that goes for anybody in YouTube you want to follow. I personally find it to be a little bit annoying, you know, the level of, like, notifications and whatnot, sure but... You want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. And I work really hard on my YouTube channel. That's not the fire pot. Wait. Just keep going. Anyway, this week I kind of phoned it in, I'll be honest. I, um... This is a good idea. You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living! Living is an option. Is it? B-scraps. I've been working on another game. I don't know if I've mentioned it during these playthroughs. As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. Okay, can't break those. I mean, probably, but I don't see anything. Shootable. Oh, not even a fancy arrow. All right, break that. No. Go down over here. Can do. Is there a stealth kill option? I would love a stealth kill. Nope. That'll work. Wham. Cool. More bad guys? The music seems to indicate there's more bad guys. Which one of you are bad guys? Get over here! Let me kill him first, and then... Oh, wait, you need to be killed, right? I give you the old roundhouse kick of justice. Ow. I guess I should, like, see what his actual melee capabilities are before I really commit to arrows, because as fun as arrows are, if they want me to melee with this kid, I will. I mean, I just feel like they don't, because these attacks suck versus the effectiveness of his arrows. All right. More soundstone. But Horizon happened, right? And I gotta believe even if they were trying to, like, compete with Horizon... They had to know there's no way they're going to beat Horizon. So. I think rather than even try and draw the comparisons. Destroy the sonic piece first. Yeah, I thought I did, but apparently not. Can I shoot while I'm on here? Nope.
Can I get out of here? Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. I just need to get a different angle on the soundstone. There we go. Come where am I? Oh, bad guys. Whoa. <laughs> It's crazy. Not only am I playing too many video games now, but now I'm playing too many characters in too many video games. I can't even keep the moves I'm supposed to be using straight. But that's YouTube. And for any the other thing I've been doing besides just you straight YouTube, and is I've been developing. I've been developing my own game a lot. Um, you know, I've talked about Chef Game on a bunch of recordings, so you've probably heard of it by now. You would lose it. I mean, you're doing a lot of young Kratos I stuff, though. If he just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? <laughs> Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me, could I not say the same? <laughs> Where do you think I learned it from? <laughs> yeah, What? Uh, I gotta feel like I did that already. Oh no, that's a new thing entirely. Alright. I like it. Oh, that's L1. What does L1 do normal? Oh, it's my shield. So, how long does it take to recharge that? Ow. Excuse me. Ow. Oh, it hasn't recharged yet. Alright. I'm moving. And I'm pressing the wrong buttons. You should just shoot the ones up there. But I wanted to use my special thing on them. I know, but they're really giving you the business right now. So we just gotta make sure we don't die out here, right? Because our audience is watching. No, I got dead. Now, you guys. Wanted to spit my... Oh, God, it's been right there the whole time. Oh, I can't shoot that. Yeah, it is. The whole time. The whole time. Could have done that. Didn't do it. Father would have been furious. Atreus! Shoot the thing! Ow! Atreus! Don't get hit in the face by that one! Now. And then it killed me right back. Jesus. Not good with ranged characters. Which is part of the reason I haven't put Horizon on the channel yet. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? I do have Horizon, you know, I do have, uh, I think I have both of them because I gave both of them away, ultimately. Am I recording? But, I'm not really good at the whole stealth arrow thing, and while I will do it, I mean, I'm sure, you know, if anyone ever watches these videos, there'll be a comment saying, you definitely have to play Horizon, I, you know, I just, like, I haven't, I haven't quite found it to be channel-worthy just yet. I'm sure that will change. It said up and forward, so si sideways should be the secrets, right? And that's gotta be B-scraps, right? What's my menu situation? I need more experience. I need more experience. I need more experience. Alright. Short answer is I need more experience, but I'll work it out. Yay, secrets. God of War is more my speed, at least for the channel, because I mean, I can play this practically in my sleep. I had a discussion with somebody earlier about what genre this kind of game is. Namely, is it, you know, the same genre as, like, a beat-em-up, like Double Dragon or something like that? I tend to think so. 
I mean, the adventurous nature of it doesn't lend itself well to the concept. Most beat em ups are very similar, simple in terms of navigation and execution, but the depth of combat and whatnot, I think, really is what pushes it over the edge. Now, that being said, I, you know, like, I feel like this is probably an extreme example. You know, and it's like as fun as calling this a beat em up would be. You know, it is just absolutely over the line in terms of, like, dialogue, in terms of narration, navigation, in terms of everything. You know, like, there's just not enough simplicity to it. I think there does have to be a simplicity consideration to what a beat-em-up is. But that doesn't necessarily disqualify something like Devil May Cry that may have, like, a particularly robust combat engine. Or wild 3D graphics from the conversation. I feel like maybe... Ah, uh, yeah, it's worried that, that my finishing moves don't actually kill them. But, that's alright. <laughs> I just have to pay more attention. But, this is all fighter-based business, you know, I didn't... I, I don't know. I, I was playing Tekken 8, and I'm gonna get back to it. I love Tekken 8. It's actually a really fun game. I've been watching a lot of Say Jam, and he's been promoting it. It's just a good game, and I bought it for the cheap, and I do want to get back to it. I've just been developing, and that, you know, like, boy, I tell you, the part of the brain that works... Really wish I had a compass. Uh, or like a talking head that can, like, see a bunch of stuff. That'd be helpful. I assume monsters. Alright, yeah. Um, ow! I was wondering what that was. What the... Here, how about this? Does that work? Can you can we work with that? There we go. You know, whatever part of the brain actually game develops and whatever part of the brain is good at fighting games slash wants to play fight they're at polar opposite polar, at complete odds of themselves in my brain, so Basically Tekken 8 is sitting there. Now I was gonna play Streets of Rage 4 because I heard a rumor, I didn't hear a rumor, I read an article that says that it's gonna be the free game next month. And that's plenty violent and simple. I could run through that. Uh, but the issue is just time, you know? Like, whichever game I pick, it's going to eat into my into my development time. Now, what I'm trying to do today is kind of develop a, a, a system by which... I was hoping it was you. Yeah, I see him. Oh, and he's got a shield. How about the get over here maneuver? Oh god, that didn't help at all. How about you just... Eat the special. Bye. He did? Oh, he brought friends. Well, spawned friends. Ah, oh, there's another shield one. Sindri! This would be a great time for some of your tools. Toys and tools. Nope. Can't even get him with that. Alright, is there something around here I can shoot? I just gotta avoid this guy. Wait until my thing charges back up. Here, he'll probably reveal his vulnerability shortly. Meanwhile... This person just has to die. Because they can shoot me from all of ah! We Not super fun, but hey. Nope. Thought it was full. Not quite full yet. I wish I could... It's auto aiming a little bit, trying to help me out. Alas, that's not what I want, but... These scraps. Alright, what is the actual strategy for it? Just shooting you? Can I actually melee you? No, I can't melee you. Alright, so I guess I just gotta, like, kind of wait for you to... 
Expose your vulnerabilities. Yeah, all right. Be done with that. Yeah, but he's not dead. You gotta remember, Sam, they're not dead. That's not enough to kill those guys. And I still don't have whatever actually opens the golds. Oh, there it was. So it's whatever. I just made an unfortunate, you know, personal timing distinction to try and run a YouTube channel at the same time I tried to be a game developer. And I'm really a big perfectionist and anal about everything I do. Like, every single thing I do it has to be perfect, exactly to my specifications, even though my specifications are often random and unrealistic. Irregardless, this, you know... Why I also have a great element of excellence to a lot of things that I do, because I'm working way harder than I need to. Anyway, I'm working way harder than I need to right now to accomplish playing video games at the same time I make video games. Because at this exact moment in time, both are working out for me. You know, I mentioned... Oh, that didn't kill you like I wanted it to. Uh... I'm supposed to time it better, I guess. Are you ready to die? Yeah. Let's see if we can just charge. Oh, this that time it killed. Just need to look out for that big door. Big door. That sounds hostile, whatever it is. But I'm just up here where I was, where those guys were shooting at me. I forgot to open that chest over there and over here. <clears throat> And unlike before, when I first started the YouTube channel back up again, I'm playing a lot of games that I actually like. Like, I want to see the ending of, I want to do more of, you know, I got DLC I need to download and play, characters I want to unlock, etc., etc. And of course, I've dragged myself back into the habit of playing games that are way too hard. I'm not even sure why, but I'm still doing it. But I think what I'm going to start doing is, you know, record because, you know, like I screwed up. I made a mistake, and last week's videos were bad. You know, like they... Yeah, dog, it's me. Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Hey, a little snowball from here. Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. <laughs> the comedy, you know. Just be sure to scream if she starts killing you. Thanks. I feel so much better now. <laughs> I don't mind the comedy, you know, it's just like, there's no need to encourage it, there's no need to have more of it, you know, it's, it's, it's a game about killing gods, people, do we do we have to be quite so lighthearted after every interaction? Some things are just naturally funny, and we should, you know... Hey, Freya! What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Can I get back up there? Right? Yeah. I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. Mentioning that. Yeah, good call. Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh, I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. <gasps> Gotta give it up for his bravery, you know. Kratos' plan would have been, well, I guess we have to finally kill this lady, so... The fact that at least he's considering going to talk to her puts him a step above his father. We all evolve over our parents. Right, like at least put it away. Freya! You should have stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! 
shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this. Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to <sighs> Odin, nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The Giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe... I'm supposed to... help stop Odin. Somehow. But since all the Giants are dead and... you won't fight Odin... then he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him... Here is a lie? Yeah. We... we broke him out of Sword of Fire. Impossible! The Nine Realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Guess or not. <laughs> uh. What a story. At least we're covering a bunch of stuff. I like a story that moves. I hate when stories don't move. The problem with a lot of these action, huge action adventure games is, you know. All right. Is this the thing I need to destroy new bottles? Most of the game I'm playing right now that, you know, are actually really, really, really good. They've got great stories, but the stories also move along really fast. Okay, so I'm not dead. Didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit this injury. Oh, I get the feeling this hasn't been an entire waste of time. I mean, we got whatever thing I just grabbed, right? Doesn't seem like it was mandatory, but... Good thing I like climbing. <sighs> the jokes, man.
you know, it's the punchy stuff. Like, you can tell they wrote the script. They wrote the, the whole plot. They wrote everything that was going to happen, and they were like, but it's not lighthearted enough. We should... Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh, I was thinking and I, uh, <laughs> got rid of it. She Terrible took it, lie. Didn't she? Uh, today was your lucky day. So tell me. How did it feel to run on chaos? I... <laughs> Need to shoot this guy. I mean... Finish this one, right? Oh. It's additional targets, eh? The big one did? Oh, that's what a nightmare is. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. It wasn't much of a shot. We telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I don't know. Dwarf plot. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. All right. <laughs> Instead of boat talking, we can walk talk. You just grab all the health in this game, man. Don't leave none of it behind. Kind of targeting the wrong one. Kind of. Targeting the wrong one. Sindri, little help. Thank you. There we go. Oh, oh, more bad guys. Thanks for the assist. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. <laughs> You're right, I didn't kill him and leave part of him out when I brought him back to life. Good God. <laughs> the lore of this universe. Eat it. Hang on. We'll do a finishing attack on this one. Hey, right, down for the count. Get her nads. Right, that one's throwing stuff at me. Oh, I threw an axe at her that time. Not always bombs. You did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. True, but what do you, you mean? already did it. I... I couldn't be alone. B 
The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Oh. We made our own home. Well, you can't change the past. Is that why it's blue? Who you are. Let's go home before father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. Shut up. Wow, let's do this. So much stuff on him. So many opportunities to talk while you fix things. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. No, nope. wow. that was worse. Yeah, oh, thanks. And I heard it when I said it. Ugh, just so many jokes. All so right. many lines committed to jokes. Shall we? All very funny. All very worth it. I mean, otherwise the characters would just be walking around in silence during a lovely scene, so I guess I'll take a corny joke, but still. <clears throat> so we're going to try and get back on track this week. After Tyr was such a failure, just want to now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. Is this how you guys have been operating thus far? Because I feel like you would have definitely been caught by now if you did more than one thing. Am I supposed to go in here or go out the back where I was? What is that thing over there? How long have we been recording? Yeah, we got we almost halfway there. We good. That is not the list that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom. And this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not cause a war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Teleporting dwarf. Is this what a family? Sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? So why are you blue, man? I remember food tasting better. <laughs> I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Mm -hmm. Atreus, where are I planning our next move? Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Move there. Oh, we are seeking information. Oh, snap. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? Cradle's been talking. Maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna build a bigger table. More for me. It's a literal sausage fest. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus. I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Mm. 
That elf light is some good shit. <laughs> Even Kratos agrees. Do left me some elf light. We all eat with little tiny knives. No forks, huh? So, where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent you taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. This is the nicest it's ever been. <laughs> Thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight. And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that intra seat for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, their relationship is great. I mean, I almost don't want to interrupt this moment. It's the best it's ever been. Doesn't matter who I've told to get up. Or can I just literally sit here and watch them eat? There's a part of me that just wants to sit here and watch them eat. At least for a little, you know, like it's just, it's nice. My phone is going, like, the world is telling me, dude, speed up, get back to life. And it's like, no, I just, just eat, you know? Even the God of War and a bunch of other weird characters can just, like, sit around, man. Have some meat. <sighs> That's the real world, just calling, just reminding me. Uh, do I go talk to... I don't know. Everybody else gets to eat. I gotta go Kratos. When you are, Father. Well, oh, now I just get to pick somebody. That's neat. Where's the companion slot? Do I... Where is the companion slot? I don't know. I don't know. Do I need to go talk to Sindri? Is it around the house here somewhere? I guess let's go look around the house and see if that's what's up. Because I don't even see a marker that's like, go talk to somebody. But there's only so much editing Phoenix can do. Does this always have more stuff in it? Oh, that's nice, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Even Kratos is nice about it. He really did it. Tear really slept in my broom closet. <laughs> is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Anything to do before we head out? How can I help? I got I'm trying to figure out how to switch characters. It's definitely not here, is it? No, that seems like nonsense. Oh no, it's right there. No, that's that, okay, whoop. Campaign unlocked. Heavy runic. Alright, ain't got none. Can't have none. No, I just wanna change my character, guys. I just wanna this. Goals, maps, is this? No. So maybe, because I ain't, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just let it ride, right? Because over here, tears, boom, closet, not a thing. The table, everybody's just chilling. All right, let's go spend my money and then just go outside. And then I don't know why it won't let me pick, but it's fine if we stick with Atreus, because I mean, Sindri over Atreus, no thank you. 
That's my shield, right? And I can afford it because it's slag deposits. What is that? Yeah. Alright, that's my shield. Uh, it won't actually, that's for defense, but I appreciate you for shield splining me. And I got one, and then. Alright. Let's, um. We actually got a little time to cause whatever's next, or at least get to whatever's next. I'm assuming, like. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Thanks for the head, Prish. Go somewhere new, get in the portal, and then we'll call it a flippity floppity flip. I don't want to cut it quite yet, because all I did was sit in the menu for like five minutes. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. Well, new NPCs. It's got one eye. Goodness, what a oh my. Physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? What is happening? This must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Raditz Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Ratatosker. The one you know as Ratatosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Lord mm. needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. Okay. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. We'll take a look at their mines, I guess, but... Let's keep the path, the plot going. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Hmm. Alfheim was the first time we ever run. Read a task. I. I. Traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The dark elves were covering it with their sticky hide stuff. When we freed it, the light elves came back. It seemed better now. <laughs> Did they now? Lore. Play the first game. Alfheim. Fourth. It's been so long. Fifth. I'm not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Oh yeah, those are the mines. If I ever want to go back and do the mines, shut up in the comments if you want me to go do the mines. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that.
Oh, I should check my abilities and crap now that I have Kratos back. I might, I suppose. Alright. Well, it's enough powering up. Alright. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. Everybody else got hops. I gotta use all my weapons. Ooh. Hey guys, I want some this treasure. You guys see the treasure? Alright, just busy doing my thing. What's going on up here? Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter. Alright. So, how did Fimble Winter affect this place? Um, you know, point being, you know, like, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna try and re get the games recorded and not, you know, and in between develop so I can do both. It was once full of life, you know, and music, the song of the sands, we called it. Gone now, another victim of war. Another victim of war. So poetic, Tear. How are we looking? Oh, we're getting pretty close. Fight scene? Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. That's ominous. Seems like it's gonna point as any to flippity floppity flip you guys. So, shout out to you as always for watching. Flippity floppity floop.